We told you how Seattle sent 11 trucks down to Portland to help clear the roads. Well, they're also helping PGE out. They're getting crews from all over the area, from other states, to come here to help get uh, power restored. Lisa Balick has been following them around, too, to show you some of the problems and, again, the help that's being uh, gotten out there in Lake Oswego. It's just the triage system. The weight of almost a foot of snow is toppling trees and heavy branches, causing lots of destruction. Tearing down power lines everywhere in the metro area. So if it's a threat to life or property, um, vehicles, houses, that sort of thing, we're going to go and take care of those guys first. There's still plenty of property trapped and damaged in the snowstorm. We woke up, had no power, and saw a, uh, a note that a tree had come down uh, in Lake Haven and described the tree, and it sounded like ours. We came out of, uh, we came out to our front yard, and saw it down. PGE called in backup from other areas to help handle down lines. Crews are also proactively cutting down limbs that are dangling on or near power lines to help prevent future power loss and destruction. We found some of the 20 crews here from Eugene, Newport, Lincoln City, even as far as Seattle, fanned out in the Portland area with more work than they can handle in just one day. We see a lot of large limb breakout and upheaval of trees that are um, may have bad root systems that just fall over. With the sun out, it's a good time for you to take a look at the trees around your house, and not just the ones by power lines. What can I do? I would recommend to, with your smaller trees going out and shaking some of the limbs off that have heavy snow on them for your smaller trees and going and inspecting to see if there's any cracked limbs. And if you have a larger tree that you're concerned about, I'd call an arborist. Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.